So I know a lot of us have had our own opinions about the Brooke Hout situation with her dog, as well as Alinity over on Twitch with her cat. But one of my buddies is a veterinarian, so I invited him over as a guest to kind of discuss this whole situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So in case you missed it, I did a video about the Brooke Hout situation already, but then like my wheels were turning, I'm like, yo, I need to hit up my boy, Dr. Alex. So Dr. Alex, he runs a YouTube channel called Our Pets Health. He also has an Instagram, he does a podcast. Like this dude, this dude loves animals. And like, if this is loving animals for Dr. Alex, like right here is like educating people on how to take care of their animals. All right, so if you have a pet, like please go follow this man. Like he is putting in so much work to help educate people so they can take better care of their pets. And he like loves answering questions, all sorts of stuff. But Alex, you know I love you. Everybody go check him out. But anyways, yeah, um, I reached out to him and asked him if he wanted to do a guest video. Dr. Alex actually did a guest video for me a while back talking about um, veterinarian mental health because I was actually surprised by this as well. The suicide rates for veterinarians is actually really high. So if you want to check out the previous video that he did over on my channel, I'll link it up in the um, info card and I'll also put it at the end screen. All right. But anyways, I'm going to shut my mouth and here is Dr. Alex. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex and I've been a veterinarian since 2006. And so Chris invited me over to talk about the situation with Brooke and her dog, as well as Elinity throwing her cat over her head. Now to start with, I don't know these people, I don't watch their channel, I don't have a back history of anything, so I'm just going to comment really on what I've seen. So I'm going to start with Brooke, and there's been a lot of commentary, a lot of outrage saying that she's a serious animal abuser, that her dog should be taken away from her, and that her YouTube channel should be shut down, and you know, she's just a terrible, terrible person. Now, is what she did right? Well, no, absolutely not, and I certainly don't condone the way that she treated her dog. But I think we do need to get into pers things into perspective. Is this a case of severe animal abuse? No, it's not. She's got a big dog. Big dogs do need disciplining. What she did wasn't disciplining her dog effectively. It wasn't uh, part of a training program. And she admits in her apology video that you know she, she needs to take her dog to training. She needs to learn better techniques. Because what she did and what was wrong is that she lost her temper. So she lost her temper. She, she hit the dog with the flat of her hand. Now, this is a big dog, like I say. If you've ever seen dogs just playing rough and tumble, you know what she did is absolutely nothing that's gonna hurt her dog, it's gonna cause it's any, her any distress. And also we know the dog, it kept coming back for attention. Her dog hasn't been emotionally harmed. This isn't something that's been going on for a long time. Her dog isn't cowering at her raised voices. Keep coming back. All her dog wants is attention. It's just a not very well trained dog. So after that initial kind of push down and hit with the flat of her hand, you know, she moves out to screen. We don't see what happens. There's a little bit of a kerfuffle by the sounds of things, but we don't see what happens. What happens next is that, um, you know, she's trying to do a piece to camera. The dog, again, just wants to come up, just wants some attention, wants some affection. And she kind of grabs the dog, pins it down, kind of shouts clearly in its face. It sounds like she's spitting, but she says categorically that she did not spit at her dog. And, you know, I've certainly known a lot of owners to make all kinds of different noises at their dog to try and kind of make them listen. So it's certainly possible that that's all that she was doing. We didn't see her spit, so it's just pure speculation. But again, she's just lost her temper, so that's not an effective way to train her dog, to stop her dog coming up to her, to try and lick her, to try and get her attention. And then at the very end, again, the dog is coming back, wanting to get attention. So her dog's not emotionally distressed, it's not terrified, it's not um, you know, rolling on its back, it's not got its tail tucked between its legs or its ears flat, to say that the dog is in any distress. It's just wanting attention from, from its owner, which is, obviously understandable and what most dogs want. And again, she just pushes the dog and then it goes out of shot. You kind of see a reflection in the TV, but you know, it's really not clear what happens. So again, anything else is just speculation, but the dog and all the time really is just showing signs of a happy dog who wants attention from the owner. Now, if you've got a big dog, 
then we need to know how to control it. So I think the first thing is that, well, Brooke lost her temper and she didn't behave very appropriately at that point in time. But the second big point is that clearly this dog hasn't had the training that, it's, it, that it needs. If we bring a dog into our life, then we need to train it appropriately. We need to be able to control it. And that's especially important when we've got a big dog. Now, if we've got a big dog that's, that's being quite um, bold and quite physical, then we do need to be firm with it. But there are ways of doing that and doing that effectively and doing that humanely that don't involve hitting, punching, kicking, um, you know, kind of pinning down forcefully, all that kind of thing. And those are things that we've actually seen popular TV dog trainers do on primetime TV. So, you know, let's get that into perspective. What Brooke did is nothing compared to what's been on primetime TV. So I want to move on to the situation now with Alinity. And there's a few different clips that I've seen. So the first one is her cat is walking in front of her, in front of a screen on a keyboard, whatever, and she just picks it up and she throws it over her head. Now, you know, that is wrong on a whole nother level. You know, where did the cat land? I've got no idea. You know, cats always land on their feet and I'm sure it probably did, but that is just wrong, you know, on so many levels. If you don't want your cat walking in front of you, you know, if you don't want your cat in your video with you, I've locked my cats out of my room. I'm not getting angry at them if I've forgotten to shut them away while I'm filming my YouTube videos and they then come and they want affection. You know, that's on me. So that's the first thing. But then there's been a couple of other clips that I've seen. So the first was a clip of her putting a big sticker onto her cat's head, finding it hilarious that the cat was there, it was kind of cowering away on the chair, it was hating every second of that, and yet Alinity was just kind of cracking up, she thought it was hilarious. And then the worst thing was she was drinking some spirit, and she then um, gets her cat to lick her mouth and gives her a little bit of spirit that way. And unfortunately, you know, un understandably, the cat absolutely hates it. You know, that's not something that we should be doing. We should never be giving alcohol to our pets. We should never be giving strong spirits to our pet. And we shouldn't find that situation hilarious. If you're doing things like that repeatedly, then you are not fit to own animals. You know, full stop. I don't believe that that is ever appropriate doing anything like that. We don't ever prank our pets. You know, you would never um, go and do something like that to a child, to a toddler and go, oh, I was only joking. No, that would be child abuse. And yeah, I think we are bordering on animal abuse in those situations, especially as it's repeated episodes. She's not losing her temper, although losing your temper doesn't um, make any form of abuse uh, acceptable by any stretch. But she's repeatedly done things to her pets that you know, uh, 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 negative things and, and yet she's finding them funny and she's doing them nonetheless when she's kind of otherwise level headed. And I think it is important that we talk about animal abuse because, well, for one, no animals deserve to be abused. But for two, uh, there's a very clear link between animal abuse and child abuse and domestic abuse situations. And I think from my point of view as a vet, it's something that I'm very aware of. Actually, every single vet in New Zealand was sent a booklet highlighting the link between animal abuse situations and human abuse. And it gave us a flow chart of what we should do if we should suspect that, who we need to contact and why that's important. So it's something that's very, you know, it's a very important subject, not just for our pets, but also for the other people in that person's in that person's life. So should Brooke have her dog taken away from her? Well, no, I don't think she should. She absolutely needs to learn to control her temper. She shouldn't lose her temper at her dog. Doing anything like that is counterproductive. It's not going to teach her dog anything. She also needs to train her dog and her dog's behavior and, or, and its lack of training is absolutely on her. Now, she seems to be aware of that in her apology um, tweet that I saw. Yeah, she, she acknowledges that she needs to get better training for her dog and she needs to have better strategies to cope to train her dog and better techniques to use. Should her dog get taken away? No, because what's the reality there is that the dog is going to be taken away, it's going to be put in a shelter, and 25% of dogs that go into shelter get euthanized, something like that. So, you know, is that what you think that this dog deserves? No, absolutely not. This dog is clearly, um, clearly loved. If you look at her other videos, she gets bought lots of things, you know, she clearly dotes on it most of the time. So, you know, it's also not showing any sign of being kind of being scared, cowering to the owner, all, all the dog wanted was attention. And that's not a sign of a dog who's emotionally distressed. With Alinity, you know, that's much more serious in my mind. And I think that's certainly something that the relevant authorities should look into because I don't think any of her behavior is appropriate. And I worry that she's actually going out and doing those things on purpose to her animal while, or, you know, even planning to do that to her pets. Um, and, and, you know, that is just not acceptable.
So anyway, that's my thoughts on these subjects. I'm sure Chris is going to jump on here with a lot of other lessons that you guys can learn and takeaways from our own point of view, maybe managing our anger, um, maybe you know, being very mindful of the fact that if you see someone abusing animals, then we need to be aware that that could be a marker for domestic abuse situations. But you know, until next time, take care. Yes, so thank you, Dr. Alex, for coming over here and doing that lovely guest spot. And like, there's a lot of interesting things that came up. And also, don't forget, down in the description, down in the pinned comment, as well as at the end screen, all the links to Dr. Alex's social media, all right? But anyways, like, I found this really interesting because obviously, you know, I, I'm a pet owner. I have my beautiful cat, Maya, and then we have Tristan's cat, Wyatt, you know? And yeah, like, it was interesting hearing him talk about the Brooke Hout situation. Because a lot of us, I think, when looking at the Brooke Hout situation compared to Alinity, it would almost look like what Brooke Hout was doing was worse. And maybe that's just me. You can let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, like a lot of you who've been following my channel, you know that I'm really against cancel culture. I believe in forgiveness and everything. And much like Dr. Alex, like nothing she did is excusable, but, you know, her temper got out of control. She doesn't um, have the proper methods and tools to train this dog, but she, it sounds like she is learning that now. But it was good hearing from Dr. Alex, like, yo, this dog is going to be okay. I think the most important takeaway from what Dr. Alex said about the Brooke House situation is most dogs who end up going to the pound are going to get euthanized, right? And that's very important to think about it. Like. I, you know, as a father, I'm often relating, you know, animals and children and things like that. And when we're looking at, you know, like abuse of children, like, is it better for this child to be stripped away from their parents and put into the foster care system where we know many people, you know, don't live the best lives in that foster care sy system. But anyways, if you watched my last video about Brooke Houts, I talk a lot about, about like, this is why we have to keep our mental health in check so we don't take out our anger on our pets, on our children and everything. It was also interesting hearing Dr. Alex talking about the correlation between animal abuse and domestic violence. And I hope you were all paying attention to that. Now, the alinity situation. And if any of you have been paying attention on Twitter or things going on with Twitch, there's a lot of uproar right now about how Twitch kind of treats female streamers different than male streamers. And when Dr. Alice was talking about the way Alinity treats her cats, that's what I found interesting as well as very troubling. And it made sense what Dr. Alex was saying, like what Alinity does to her pets, it's premeditated. It's planned out, right? This wasn't just her losing control of her emotions. This is how she treats her pets. So in my last video, I mentioned like, you know, we don't really know what Brooke Houts does, you know, when she's off camera. And I think Dr. Alice had some good explanation as it seems like Brooke Houts does, you know, treat that dog with a lot of love and kindness, even off camera, because there would be certain cues that the animal was being abused on a regular basis. But then we see Alinity. She does these things premeditated for attention, for, you know, entertainment purposes. So I would almost think it's more likely that she's doing other things that we don't know about when she's off camera. Um, I know that Alinity said, I think on Twitter, that the local authorities were gonna come kind of do like a wellness check on the animals. I don't know if that ended up happening. But anyways, take care of your damn pets and be nice to your pets. What is wrong with people lately? <laughs> but anyways, again, thank you so much, Dr. Alex, for com coming over here and doing that guest spot, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And just like I promised, boom, right here, there is a link to Dr. Alex's channel. Down there, there is a link to the last video he did on my channel about veterinarian suicide and all that. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you go follow him, subscribe. If you have a pet, make sure you reach out to him. He's more than happy to answer answer questions on his podcast and make videos and all sorts of stuff. All right, but that's all I got for this video. I'll see you next time.